Hello my lovely snickerdoodles. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I want to make this video because I think this is so important um, and I'm not sure if it's one of those things that people think about and I hope you do and I hope that um, you know you pass this along to people who might need it. Um, so I'm an HCA, I'm a healthcare assistant and I've worked in seniors facilities, um, you know, many of which have patients with dementia and Parkinson's and, you know, all manner of uh, illnesses that are generally associated with age. So I'm going to try, I'm going to say parents throughout this because it's just kind of easier to understand. Um, so healthcare assistants, in the morning, when we're at work, if we go on shift, um, 7 a.m., okay, just maybe shifts are different. Um, so we start at 7. Breakfast is generally around 8.30 at the facilities I've worked at at least. So we have an hour and a half in the morning to get your loved one and generally nine others up, ready, and at breakfast. That's on the HCAs. So... If you've got parents that need to be toileted, that need to have uh, pull-ups, that need help dressing themselves, if they're low mobility, we're kind of rushing. And, you know, this is just kind of a sad state of affairs, really, because it's at a lot of facilities, right? Um, but one thing, and I've definitely looked back at this in retrospect since getting my dentures, they're not checking for fit. We were never taught about checking for denture fit. Um, and a lot of places, honest to goodness, we don't have time. Um, so we rinse, we put them in, but that's it, right? So they're not checking fit, they're not putting you know, adhesive on, um, just kind of all of these things. So when you think about that, I want you to realize that the same things that you're going through or I'm going through or someone you know that has dentures um, is going through, we have the ability to talk about it, right? Your parents may not. Um, people that are nonverbal or... Um, you know, are forgetting their, their language, um, which does happen. Um, you know, maybe they don't know how to tell you my dentures hurt or they're slipping or I have sore spots or whatever. They need a reline. They don't have the ability necessarily to tell you. So on top of everything else that's going on, and I do realize that care facilities have you know, softer foods. I don't even want to talk about that, quite frankly. Um, but check your parents and loved ones' dentures when you go visit. Um, you know, check for sore spots. Check when they're talking, are they moving? Um, like, if you're having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with them, see if... Check the integrity of the dentures, right? Um... I've worked with people who are not, uh, who are nonverbal, who have had a significant language barrier and have been, you know, occasionally taken up to the denturist, but without that language, they don't know, right? So if you can check, it's so important and please do. If they're not getting proper nutrition because it's painful, that's really serious. And that's weight loss, that's medication absorption. Um, there's like all of these different things that can be improved if we're keeping an eye on their dentures. And I don't know, you know, I don't know where you are and I don't know what, you know, if you've got family in a facility, Maybe you've got them in an amazing facility that checks all of this stuff. I've not worked in those facilities. Um, so couldn't say. But please consider and, and 
do, if you can, get your parent, loved one to a denturist. Have them check the integrity. When you're there, keep an eye out because this is something that is super serious and can really compromise your loved one's nutrition and overall um you know I, I would hate to think that someone is nonverbal or with alzheimer's or parkinson's and they can't tell you they're in pain check for sore spots check for fit and you know just do that for me okay and for your loved ones we want to keep them comfortable we want to make sure that their nutrition is good and quite frankly not every facility can do that. I know I didn't ever think about it when I worked as an HCA because I didn't know about dentures. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk.